battle Zamorak in an epic new boss fight, return to a reborn wilderness with optional PvP, all this and more coming in Legacy of Zamorak, RuneScape's exciting new storyline. Here are the updates you'll be playing over the next few months. Zamorak, Lord of Chaos, is an epic 1-5 to five player boss experience, which scales all the way up from an accessible story mode up to literally impossible and rage difficulties. Those who triumph against Zamorak will be rewarded with some highly anticipated and incredibly powerful loot. With a free death week on launch, you won't want to miss it. So be it. Die by my hand. With Zamorak hunkered down in the wilderness, you're going to have to conquer an elite dungeon to get to him. Up to five players can head into the dungeon at once, with the dungeon's difficulty scaling to your team's size. The dungeon uses an enrage system. As the enrage level increases, enemies' life points scale up. If you prove yourself enough times, you'll unlock the ability to bypass the dungeon, allowing you to take on Zamorak as many times as you want. Feel the rage of a god! Once you've made it through the dungeon, you'll arrive at the true challenge, the god, Zamorak himself. You can take Zamorak on as a brave lone warrior or battle him in groups of up to five. The fight and the rewards will scale with the number of players. Zamorak is RuneScape's first group encounter to make use of our Enrage system. Unlike his predecessors, Zamorak's Enrage doesn't cap at 4,000. Instead, you'll be able to try nearly unlimited difficulties. For the first time ever, this will be tracked through our new Enrage high scores. The highest completed Enrage of unique players and groups will be locked, immortalizing their legacy forever. You never stood a chance. A storyline wouldn't be a storyline without quests. In the aftermath of the boss fight, we'll catch up with Moya and Daughter of Chaos. If the last few years of epic quests have left you not really knowing where to start, Daughter of Chaos is the perfect jumping on point for the story. Daughter of Chaos focuses on Moya, one of Bilrock's lieutenants, who has been attacking humans near the border of Mist Halen. Adrastea views her as the biggest threat at this point, so she asks you to travel to the wilderness, track her down, and stop her. As Basilissa, it is my responsibility to safeguard the human kingdoms and maintain their alliance. As you're working with Adrastea's agents to track down Moya, you'll come across traces of Moya's memories. Through these traces, you'll be able to see flashbacks of recent events from Moya's perspective. There's some awesome gameplay segments where you get to play as Moya in a parallel story arc fighting in the Civil War. As Moya, you'll also get to have some cool interactions with other characters you wouldn't normally get to experience. The Daughter of Chaos quest is the beginning of a brand new period in Gilanor's history. What lies ahead is a brave new world whose fate is in the hands of mortals. Remember that feeling of dread you used to get when venturing into the wilderness? We're all about bringing that back, but this time not from PvP. For the Legacy of Zamorak storyline, we are modernising wilderness graphics and gameplay by making PvP optional, as well as introducing a range of new PvM challenges. After looking at NPCs and content currently available, it became very clear that without PvP, there is no real danger. With that in mind, we will be looking to up the ante with a reworked Mandra Slayer Master and a load more challenging NPCs that he can assign. Should you wish to engage in this Slayer method, you will be rewarded for doing so, particularly with a brand new Wilderness Slayer drop table. It's worth mentioning that all NPCs will be aggressive, multi-way combat and not lose aggression towards you, regardless of how long you've been fighting, so you can ensure that no corner of the wilderness will be truly safe. Along with the new PVM gameplay changes, we're also improving the in-game visuals. This will not only set the scene for the legacy of Zamorak storyline, but will act as a foundation for future content. During the storyline, you'll find the Infernal Puzzle Box. This new reward item will get stronger with each Legacy of Zamorak update you complete, and the final tier is something you're really going to want. There's even more coming up later in the year, but for now, Get yourself ready to fight a god.